Hello everyone and welcome to Jumperman Tech, where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today I'm going to show you how to reverse the rotation on any three phase fan motor. Thank you to everyone tuning into Jumper Mad Tech. If you find this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week, and let's get straight into it. It's always important to take a look at the tag to make sure what kind of motor you are using, and you do want to make sure that you are using a three-phase motor when attempting this technique. If your motor is running in the wrong direction, that means it is not in the correct phase sequence. Luckily, this happens to be a very easy fix. Every single motor that you're going to come across is going to have a starting component and that is typically going to be a contactor or a motor starter. The difference between a contactor and a motor starter is very slim as they are the same thing except a motor starter has a built-in overload protection. With that being said, the principle shown in this video can be used for any type of starting component that you may be using. The starting component we are using is this three pole contactor. Here are our three poles. If we look closely, there are no wires on this side and we have wires on this one. These wires here are going directly into our three phase motor. So the first pole is black, second pole is blue, third pole is red. So if we look closely, we can see that the three wires coming from our contactor go directly into the motor into each designated terminal. L1 to L1, L2 to L2, and L3 to L3. There are no wires coming in from the top and typically you're going to have your three phase power coming into here and when your coil is energized on your contactor, this plunger will plunge in and it will send power from here down to your motor. So let's say we just installed this three phase motor and once we started it, we noticed that it's spinning in the opposite direction that we want it to. So what we're going to do here is to reverse the polarity and by doing this we're going to reverse the rotation from either clockwise to counterclockwise or counterclockwise to clockwise and to do this is actually extremely simple. So what we're going to do from here is we're going to turn off the power to our system, lock out and tag out because it's always safety first and we're going to make our way back to our starting component. Typically I always like to make my reversal at the starting component. So once we determined which wires lead to the motor, we're going to be doing our transition from there. Now that we know that these are our wires leading into our motor, the simple trick is to reverse any two leads and it really doesn't matter which one. Another thing to keep in mind is that color has nothing to do with anything here. What is important is that we're changing the designation of where our wires are going. So the key is to change any two leads. So the wire that goes here, which is black, you would now put it where the blue wire is and the blue wire, you would put it where the black one is. And I'll show you how that's done. So let's begin by loosening this up. From here, we can reverse our leads. So now the blue wire is gonna go to our first pole and the black wire is gonna go to our second pole. From there, just tighten it down. And right there, we just reverse the rotation. Another last thing to note here is that it doesn't matter which termination you switched over. What we did is we switched one with two, but you could have switched one with three. It really doesn't matter. Switching any two leads for a three phase motor will reverse the rotation. It is seriously as simple as reversing any two leads for your three-phase motor to reverse the rotation. If anybody found this video or interesting, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week, and I'll catch you all next time.